On this episode of Florida Roadside Attractions in Abandoned Places, we come to Lake Placid. Town of murals, shops, restaurants, and so much more. We begin on the south side of Lake Placid along US Highway 27. Check out this abandoned fruit stand, citrus stand, with this giant pineapple up here. This thing is awesome. Look at that thing. Let's check this place out. Oh my gosh, this is this is very old Florida looking citrus stand. That pineapple has got some age to it. Look at that. Juicy. <laughs> this side. And this side. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time, my friends. Shonda's Souvenirs. T-shirts, fruits, honey, and orange juice. This is awesome. Wow, this thing has seen some better days, that's for sure. Wow, is that a mango? That looks like a mango. Hey, shout out, mango. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, right there, there's the counter. Wow, the counter's still there, and a lot of places. Oh. You can make out the sign of my car in the background. But a lot of places and shelves to set fruits and vegetables, some fresh produce in there. It is so cool. Look at this. It's all grown up. I like how the glass angles out like that. Very 50s or 60s, I think. Kind of a clue to its age, possibly. And over here says preserving kitchen. And right here, orange juice, honey, t-shirts, and fruits. Well, look at that. So awesome to see. It's a pretty lengthy building in the back. But here you go. Pineapple juice. That is an awesome sign. So last summer I started a series here on this channel called Florida Roadside Attractions and Abandoned Places. And today we're continuing the journey here in Lake Placid. There's an iconic tower that towers above Lake Placid in the middle of the city. And that was the main reason I came here but also, I found that Lake Placid is known as the town of murals and the town of caladiums. And if you don't know what a mural is or a caladium, well, you're about to find out. Thank you for joining me once again. I am Tampa J, and there is much ahead. Lake Placid is surrounded by orange groves, and beneath those orange groves, rolling hills. Noticed a lot of hills here in Highlands County. That's perhaps why it's named Highlands County. Florida, not very tall at all, as we know, mostly flat. But in the center of the state, it's pretty hilly. Look out there. Orange groves all the way out. Check it out. These oranges aren't quite ripe yet. They're very small and green. As I said, Lake Placid is known as the town of murals and there will be many murals today. The first one I've seen so far is this one right here, this old Coca-Cola mural. Ice cold Coca-Cola sold here. Not anymore though, this place looks to be vacant. Definitely abandoned, but so cool to see the old Coke signs there. Love that stuff. And here we are approaching the Lake Placid Tower and it is massive and you can see it miles from miles away down US 27. This place looks like a, a Chinese restaurant. Check that out. Oh, wow. I saw pictures of it, but it's a lot bigger than I thought. Welcome to one of Old Florida's most iconic roadside attractions sitting here on US 27. The Lake Placid Placid Tower was constructed in 1960 and opened January 1st, 1961 and is towering 240 feet tall, made of nearly 1,000 concrete blocks, all stacked up there. And this tower has seen thousands and thousands of people. An observation tower, you can go right to the top, or you used to be able to go to the top. I believe this tower last closed in 2003 to tourists. And once that here, a motel, a restaurant, and a Phillips 66 gas station was all intertwined here beneath the tower. It was a Florida roadside attraction. And I was reading online that at one point, it had a petting zoo out here. This tower was built by Ernest Oakley Hunt, a man from Colorado who moved to Orlando 
and then would move to Sebring and had a dream of building a giant observation tower. And that's when he purchased this land back in 1959, 1960, and they began constructing the tower. He had a dream and there it went, right there. And it's still standing today, even though people aren't going up inside of it, it's still here and it's still pretty awesome looking. Very, very rustic, kind of, Kind of Art Deco looking on the top there. I like it very much. It's very cool to come down here and check this out today. It's awesome. And at one point, this tower had the highest payphone in Florida. There was a payphone installed up there and you could make phone calls at the top of the tower. That's pretty cool. I wonder if it's still up there. It appears that most of the buildings surrounding the tower are vacant. That restaurant over there, vacant. That motel I believe is operating. These businesses, over here, if they're open, not much business. It is the weekend though, so maybe that has something to do with it. But yes, this tower currently sitting vacant and is known, I believe they're using it as a cell phone tower. Walking up, I'm gonna take a closer look at the tower, see if I can make out a former entrance. See what's going on over here. It looks like you would enter here and come over this way. There must be some kind of stairwell or elevator in there, of course. 461 US 27, I guess would be the address. Look at that. Check it out. Look at all the concrete blocks. At one point, the largest concrete block tower in the world. Amazing, right here in Lake Placid. Little lizard camping out here on this water intake here on the side of the tower. Check him out. He's a big boy. Oh, spooked him. And also down here it says Tower Plaza. Someone wrote that in that concrete there. To the left of the tower right here in this plaza, Tower Title, of course, title company. And look, a mural. Another mural, the Town of Murals. I like that one. Here we go, Country Homes and Lands. A couple businesses in here. And over here, this is the nearest window to the tower. Let's take a peek and see what's going on in here. Everything looks to be vacant. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that, falling apart. Towers to the right. You can kind of see over there to the right. Not really, man. Walls full of rich mahogany. Okay, if I adjust my hand, okay. Look to the right of the screen. This is the best I can do with the glare. I've got my hand over the lens. The elevator shaft is open. That's the elevator right there to the right. Hold on. Yeah, that's the best I can do. Look to the right. You can walk right into the elevator. That is so cool. You see it? I hope you see it. Also the stairs are to the left, I believe. That's the center of the tower right there. If these blocks could talk, I, I'm sure it would tell us of many stories. And there's all kinds of equipment up along the tower. I do believe this is a cell phone tower. And I do have full reception right now on my phone. I have full bars. I'm using these palms to block the sun glare there, the lens flare. It's kind of like lens flares though. Shout out to JJ Abrams, but there you go. Look up there. Came over to the far end of this parking lot looking out beyond a lake down there. Many lakes in this area. Came over to get another view of the tower, which is right behind me. Right there. Look at that. And someone forgot to return their cart to the return cart spot at Publix. Oh, that drives me bananas. No. The tower behind me now on the back side of this old restaurant currently sitting vacant, abandoned. Looks like a lounge and restaurant once sat here. Here's the front side. I'm gonna take a peek in the windows for you. But over here, first, there's a 9-11 memorial donated by American Legion Post 25. Yeah, it looks like there used to be a flagpole here. There's the cleat where they tied off the rope to the flag. But no more flagpole, but still the plaque here. An abandoned 9-11 memorial. That's kind of sad. We need to we need to get something back here or get this moved to a park or something. What do you think? Wow, these these doors are classic looking. Let's see, let's take a look inside here. Oh wow. Not much going on in there. There's a wall right right ahead there. Let me try another window. There you go. This looks like the lounge portion over here. I see a bar. But yeah, but very cool. Here's the best view I can get of the place. This back door here, you can look out to the front window. And this, I believe on the left here is the lounge. Check it out, love checking out abandoned buildings like this. I wish we could go in. No, not gonna happen. 
also don't feel like getting arrested today. degrees out here. I better get to a water and hold. <laughs> Lake Placid Tower, awesome. So hot I had to stop and get some more water. I already finished a bottle right here at this gas station across from the tower heading into town. Here we go. Stay hydrated folks. Florida summer is hot, very hot. Greetings from Lake Placid. We have made our way downtown Lake Placid and we're starting here in the town of murals with this mural a very postcard looking font there i love these things we got one in tampa as well and in st petersburg and clearwater this is a quiet little town this is going to be fun I'm just going to walk up and down these streets and check out some murals how about that appreciate you joining me immediately on the other side of this building right to the left is another mural check it out all kinds of murals within murals actually. This is the Placid Lodge, it says it right there. All kinds of murals within this mural. This guy's water skiing there. There's some cypress trees, a lot of lake. Lots of lakes are out here. And over here, this guy in the canoe. And some more Florida countryside there. It's very cool, I really like this one. All kinds to see today. Heading this way, and also there's a museum, a train depot museum down the hill here. We'll check that out as well. Heading down Park Street, straight ahead, the Historical Society Depot Museum. Water tower. <laughs> so quiet, and there's another mural up here at the corner of Service Avenue and West Park Street. Check it out, right before the train depot. And I see some railroad crossing equipment, some old tracks. Oh, it looks like the train's busting out of the wall. And look, it's the old Lake Placid Depot. And a Ford Model A there. Look, the depot is right there. Check it out, that's so cool. And there's some words written over here, a little scroll. The Atlantic Coastline Railroad Depot was built the ongoing of Dr. Melville Dewey. He then petitioned the state to have the town's name changed from Lake Sturms to Lake Placid as it was a winter residence for the Lake Placid Club of New York. There you go, Lake Placid, Florida is named after New York. This historical society of Greater Lake Placid was established in May 1982. The railroad deeded the depot to the society in 1984 and it was transformed into a museum. Oh, learned a lot of history right there. And remember when I said in the beginning I was going to show you what a caladium is? Well, here you go. These are caladiums. These tropical plants. You see them all over Florida, but I guess Lake Placid is the caladium capital of the world. Right here before the doors. There is some. There you go. Inside the old train depot slash museum. A lot of awesome history. In here, all kinds of things on display. Check it out. Oh, look at that old bike. So cool. And look, there's an old picture of downtown Lake Placid. This one pictures here. This one from the 1940s. Erickson home built in the 1920s on Dean Boulevard. Still there today. And that building right there is the old Lake Placid Club. The reason why it's called Lake Placid. This display case near the door has a lot of Native American artifacts found in the area. Check it out. A lot of arrowheads. And over here, this pamphlet talks of the lost tribes of Florida. Tokabaga, we've mentioned them several times on the channel. The Tampa Bay tribe. The Calusa, the Miami. In this area, where we are today, we're up here just above Lake Okeechobee. Kind of halfway between Miami and Tampa. It's cool to see these things. I 
I've always enjoyed looking at Native American artifacts. Ever since I was a kid, my grandfather has a huge collection of them. These are all found here, near Lake Placid, Highlands County. Look at that. And this place is huge. There is three rooms. The old train depot is full of antiquities and awesomeness. Look at this old trunk. Oh my lordy, it's a classic Buddy Lee doll. Oh my gosh. What's up, Buddy Lee? I'm noticing a lot of signs that says this is also Florida's lake country. A lot of lakes around here, here on this piano. That is a beautiful piano right there. All kinds of antiquities in here. This old phone, 1930s rotary phone. Look at this old record player, an Edison disc phonograph circa 1927. Oh my gosh, that's in great shape. Look at this. All kinds of records right here. You just pop them in right there. And the, the actual tag, the serial number and everything. Still there. That is so cool. That's in great shape. Oh, I guess this was also the post office here in Lake Placid. I'm learning by this sign here. Man, this stuff has, this little museum has a lot to look at. Look, it's an old, it's the old arcade hotel, which sat downtown. Just saw in that photograph back there. This uniform was worn in World War I. Look at that, the uniform was worn by Patrick Joseph Oy, U.S. Army, 328-554-9316 Field Artillery Wildcats in France from 1918 to 1919. This, this uniform right here saw some action. Well, check it out, operator. Wow, this is cool. Look at all these controls. The talk of the town, a telephone directory. Can you imagine? Man, that is how the operator used to connect you to your telephone. One call comes in. And then you place the line into the proper <laughs> phone number, the proper address. Uh, it's amazing that it used to work that way. An old printing machine, look at that. That is awesome. The linotype machine, I've seen one of these before here in Florida. I think at the, uh, the Florida Cracker Living History Museum at the State Fairgrounds. Don't quote me on that, I think that's where I saw it. They got one up there as well. There's a book in here on display, Railroad Depots of Central Florida. I love these history books. I got a ton of them. On page 32, down here in the lower left, it's a picture of the Lake Placid train station, which we're in. This is about mid-50s, it says. And over there, you can make out the water tower, which is still there today as well. So this photo would have been taken down the, down the railway tracks out here, that way, a few feet. Oh, and say hello to Buddy Lee again. Hey, buddy. Now on the outside, I'm gonna walk around and take a look at the train tracks. Far side of the museum, check it out. We're just inside there. Very cool. It says Lake Placid Historical Society, right there, car 8982. Tucked away over underneath this tree over here, you really can't see it. It's out of plain sight, but this old light pole is a memory of Hazel S. and J. Winston Kelsey, whoever that was but it's just kind of tucked away over here. It's got some age to it. It's a concrete light pole right on the far side of this caboose. Climbing up on the caboose. See if I can take a look inside. Nope, all locked up. It's all fogged up too, this little porthole. All fogged up. Look, you can see the railway tracks in that building. <laughs> That's an old building over there, old tower more murals over there across the way this is so cool also that thing looks to be uh, steam powered there walking back up the street here man this is fun I love just getting out on the weekends and checking out the back roads of Florida it's one of my favorite things to do and it's unfortunate because I don't have a lot of time to do so only the weekends and also you know I'm passionate about so many things filming locations theme parks conventions something is always going on here in Florida so I'm never bored but I rarely lately I've had time to just get out and explore small towns like I did last summer
but I do have a couple weekends before the haunt season begins to do so. So hope you, hope you join me for more of these types of adventures because they're coming. There's much ahead. Yeah, just making my way up Main Street here, looking for some more murals. Looks like in a pet grooming store there. Very quiet downtown. There's some murals over there. I don't know what's going on here, but on the side of this building, it looks like a depiction maybe of a historic bank robbery that took place here. If anyone knows what's going on here, please let me know. It looks like uh, a shootout or a getaway is going on. It does say 1931 there. And these two fellows here are holding up the Tropical State Bank. Oh, wow. I'm a little ignorant to this story. Comment below if you know. Hold on, let me let me ask uh, Ziggy, or Google, as people call it. I say Ziggy, like from Quantum Leap. So yes, this is a painting of Lake Placid's first bank robbery. It doesn't really say who the bank robbers were, but it, it depicts the town marshal, Tom Bozeman, who is uh, the town marshal from 1929 to 1926, and he's the one that made the bust of the bank robbers. So yeah, there you go. Very cool. So if you wish to follow along with me as you're watching this video, go to Murals of Lake Placid, T-L-C-D-U-N-L-O-P.com and full descriptions of all the murals you'll see today in this video. How about that for the finer details? There you go, I'll show you the visuals and give you some commentary, but you can check all these out online as I'm showing you them right here. So check that out. T-L-C-D-U-N-L-O-P dot com. Go to Murals of Lake Placid. These are so cool. Yeah, it's awesome. A little depiction of old Florida here. Some crackers. Look, Glades Electric. This man worked for Glades Electric right there. He's a linesman. He's got Glades Electric right there. N, or no, I'm sorry, W Chapel with two Ps. I believe that's how you pronounce that. So cool, yeah, check out that information online if you want to. Get a little bit more history. And also, we can give credit to the artists that way. And on the other side of this building, more murals. Check it out. This gentleman here, not sure who he is. But he's, he's definitely in deep thought, deep thought. And here he is again. Is that Magnum P.I.? Looks like him. Is that good old Magnum? <laughs> Tom Selleck? Check it out, look at this. A seaplane there, oh wow. Okay, there's, there's some history here. Dedicated in memory of our family that can no longer be here with us. Dave Miller, Dan Miller, and Judy Miller. I wonder if that's a Miller. Miller's Central Air, right next, right next door. Oh, I'm starting to put things together here. <laughs> Approaching the Lake Placid Women's Club. These two walls, beautifully painted. Looks like, um, oh, look at those. Look like some sandhill cranes right there. Lovely mural goes up this way we've got some uh, ooh it looks like a wolf a wolf pack you don't see too many of those in Florida or at least you haven't for the last 100 years I believe there used to be wolves in Florida check it out and also an owl ow right there and there's a name there Jane Ford 2005 painted this on the women's club here very awesome just kind of working my way through this town. Don't really have a plan, just kind of walking everywhere. There's a car over here in this park. Another mural over there as well. Okay, let's check out this car first. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a door to it even. I don't know who is, uh, I wonder who these people are driving here. Doesn't really say. Again, check out the website to follow along. There are so many murals here. Oh, that looks like my Bella. Look at that. It's a beagle. Looks just like her. Also, there's a kitty cat and a little kid there. This is so cool. I don't think you can get in here. So the door is open. Oh, it's a, it's a trash can. 
look at that. <laughs> That's awesome. And some more colladiums. Check it out. All the way around these trees here inside of this park, all different types of them. There's some white ones, some more over here. But up here, among this circle of palm trees, I see a bear. Oh my. And here you are, the Florida black bear. Yes, we have bears in Florida. Not many around these parts though. They're, they're mostly up north. Oh yeah, check it out. Florida shuffleboard there. What classic old Florida resort is complete without some shuffleboard? <laughs> this one's in great shape. Looks like they use it out here. They have tournaments and whatnot. They still have the scoreboards up. It's pretty awesome. You ever played shuffleboard? It's pretty cool. Kind of like bowling. A little bit. And the Lake Placid Water Tower. You can actually make out the lettering at this angle. I just wanted to point it out to you. So standing along the street here. Out there in the distance. Standing beneath Pine and Inner Lake. Heading up the hill here. Up the street. This is a very decently sized little town. Buildings everywhere. Heading over this way. In between this church. This building. There's something going on over there. Well this is cool. This little garden in between this church and this building stretch of buildings I got some murals over here look at that looks like a mammoth and look he's using an atlatl right there that weapon there used by the Native Americans was an atlatl put an arrow right there and it's kind of kind of sling it and it, it came out pretty straight actually most of the arrows that you see or find that are found were probably on the tip of arrows used from atlatls not bows just a fun fact there Look at that. This is so cool. Lake Placid Noon Rotary. And these folks here among the pines. This is the wall of the church. And if you listen, you can hear music. Oh, they're in there worshiping. It's a pleasant sound. Sounds great. Very peaceful sounding. This is beautiful. Wow. Look at this. Amazing. You got a little waterfall going here, all the way down here, underneath the bridge, and out there to the fountain. You got Kelly's ice cream shop across the way. Oh, ice cream, that sounds great. Letting the camera roll on this one. There's just so much to see. Look, 10,000 BC, seven, 5,000, 2,000, does a little timeline here. Again, there's the man with the addle addle right there. About ready to get him some food. Rotary Club Lake Placid Noon probably created a garden of living art in the midst of these fine murals. This five year project was completed in 2002. There you go, it took five years to create this one. This is my favorite one so far. It's very atmospheric. I feel like I'm out in the middle of nowhere right here in between these two buildings. Not in the middle of nowhere, it's actually somewhere. Here you go, the timeline continues. 80, 900, and then current times. Look at that. Excavating the sand there. Yep, and look, more caladiums. Or caladiums, I said palladiums. This is so beautiful. It's a long shot too, it's like two minutes and 30 seconds. Check this out, that sign up there, that vintage sign says the right place front of this hardware store. That's a pretty cool sign. Right product, right price, the right place, right now. It's a plumbing and electrical shop and hardware store. There I am, hi. <laughs> How's it going? And here's a mural depicting the turpentine industry. They used to make turpentine out in these parts. And these gentlemen, I'm sure, had something to do with that. This is pretty fascinating. Look, he's uh getting the turpentine out of the tree there. I think that's how that works. I'm not sure the, the actual processing of turpentine, but here you go. Gum turpentine, pure spirits of turpentine. And on the side of complete car service, right here along the street, we were just walking up, another giant mural. It looks like a caladium farm. Check it out. A row of all different colors of them. Palladiums. Palladium capital of the world. 
it's pretty cool also you got some farm equipment and some houses uh, out there on the horizon and these folks there you go this is so cool so many murals today I don't think we can capture them all folks I wish we could there's just so many oh check out this old Chevy all right things a classic yep and there you go another angle of the mural and that is a a classic Malibu right there old Malibu I'd drive that thing for sure man all these classic looking signs and places including this one winding waters off the wall decor antiques art and more that rhymes all kinds of vintage Americana over here I love it check it out it's not open oh man it's closed look at this old coke machine that is so cool antique coke machine 50s restored 6500 bucks for that thing that's pretty awesome an old postage stamp machine there right inside here oh an old record player this, now this is the, the place to check out sometime maybe i'll come back currently not open normally when you come into these towns and there's no one like walking around the buildings are vacant old haven't been renovated but all these buildings as quiet as it is out here are nice they look they look pretty nice it's like the the town that time forgot the day the earth stood still dr melville dewey 1851 to 1931 developer of lake placid in the 1920s and there is mr dewey right there right beside the train station the water tower that we saw earlier check it out awesome mural here one of the founders of lake placid that's pretty cool dr dewey and it is right on the side of this old school here check it out well look at this this is the welcome center for south florida state college welcome to the south florida state college actually right over here there's a couple more buildings didn't think i was gonna be going to school today but yeah that mural that we just saw dr dewey is right up there on the side of the building it's pretty cool hey hey mom i'm going back to college there you go walked up the sidewalk for a little bit there's more of the college the lake placid center that old building there looks to be some sort of gymnasium old gym yeah very cool didn't expect to see uh, to be at school today all right I'm heading back towards my car across the street from the college standing on the sidewalk look out in the distance you can make out the placid tower check it out we started right over there well look at that dragons Lake Placid High School 1940 this is the team maybe they won the state championship back then I don't know I like the colors dragons I used to uh, used to go to a school uh, in Hancock County in Indiana, we were we were called the New Palestine Dragons. Lives in a little town called New Palestine for a while. You don't see that name very often. This is very awesome. I'll have to do some research myself on this later. But yeah, check it out. Some basketball there. Lake Placid High School Green Dragons. They're the Green Dragons. Now on this quiet street called Oak Street. Very quiet. There's the police department. and not much is going on here at the police department lake placid police department lppd and also you can make your utility payment right there oh and there's the lake placid jail another another trash can that is so cool 1920. oh some eyes there <laughs> another mural to the side u.s mail look at this Looks like you got a tribute to the post office. Some historical moments perhaps going on here and some people. There's someone speaking there. And there's Daisy. I know it because her tag says Daisy. Hey Daisy! Forgive me for my ignorance. <laughs> I don't know who these people are. But I'm sure if there's people from Lake Placid watching this, feel free to comment in the comment section that's what it's all about oh my gosh that is creepy 
What is going on here? Donated by Area Red Hat Society chapters. Oh, okay. I get it. It's a, it's a Red Hat Society clown. That's creepy. And more Colladiums. Just keep, it just keeps going, folks. It's a beautiful town. Look at this beautiful church up here. Wow, she's a beauty. Check out the first Presbyterian church here. Something you'd see up north. All the brick. That is very beautiful. I can see a nice little wedding going on right here. The bride and groom coming down these steps. I'm sure it's happened before. Murals, murals, murals. Check it out. It's awesome. This one's a little more modern. These folks look like tourists. And the bird watcher. Look at that. Checking out the blue jays. That one is beautiful. I like this one a lot. It is a scorcher. Have I mentioned that? <laughs> Gotta get back to my water bottle inside my car. Woo! It's a hot one. I like it though. I like the heat. I prefer the heat rather than the cold. This Hoosier blood is thinned out years ago. Actually, 17 years ago this summer is when my family moved to Florida to Clearwater Beach. I've officially lived in Florida for half my life. 17 years in Indiana, 17 years here in Florida. Check it out. Another mural right there behind me. Some largemouth, largemouth bass, a little fishing I like that. And over there, that's where we started. The Lake Placid mural, right there. And right here, almost back to my car, some Seminoles looking out at some of the Florida wildlife. Check it out, there's a nice sized gator right there. Look at that, and hopefully we'll, we're about to see some gators. We're going out to Lake Placid, we'll see. Of course, you know that movie, Lake Placid with the alligators? Oh yeah, not this Lake Placid, the one in New York, but this Lake Placid we're going to, named after that one as we learned earlier. I like this road, winding, hilly, citrus to the left and to the right, also lakes. Now this is Florida. This is Florida, my friends. Love the countryside out here. And now approaching Lake Placid. Just felt right, had to come out here and see the actual lake. Why not? There's a boat launch here. This is the only place I could find that I could get close, other than owning some lakefront property or knowing someone that does. This boat launch and park here. It's the only access I could find. Let's walk out here. Welcome to Lake Placid. There's the sign right there. Welcome to Lake Placid. Had to come out and see the lake, right? Don't know if we'll see any, but I'm sure there's a lot of gators and this water. I see a duck out there. Oh, on the bridge. I hear a lot of commotion, a lot of music, some stereos blasting, some out on the boat, some from the houses. Everyone's having a pretty nice day out here. Some people over here on the dock swinging out. They've got ropes. They're swinging out over top of the water swimming. Lake Placid, here you go. What a beautiful day here. It's hot, but it's beautiful. <laughs> did I mention it was hot? I think I did several times. That looks fun. Oh yeah. That's the way to do it right there. <laughs> I hear him screaming. Oh yeah. Now back at the Historical Society Depot Museum. I made a little deal. I didn't have cash on me, but I told him I'd come back. But they're all closed up, but I'm gonna try to stick some money underneath the door, because I feel bad. They said they'd be here all afternoon. Looks like they closed. Huh, they actually weren't originally supposed to be open on Saturday, according to that sign there, but two bucks to get in, I'm actually gonna give them a five and leave a card, because I feel terrible. Oh yeah, just enough room. Just get in, get in there. And I perhaps missed one of the best murals here, a depiction of the entire town. Looks like some sort of town festival going on as well. Look at this, right along Main Street. All the town folk having fun. Looks like the 4th of July. 
Look, a, a pie eating contest going on down here. Look at that. And watermelon eating contest. And a, a pig. These, uh, <laughs> these boys are playing with a pig. That's random. Not a dog, a pig. Check it out. There's the old former Tribble building, town office, and a country produce stand. This one's awesome. Yeah, I'm glad I uh, didn't miss this. I almost did. I walked all over downtown and missed this one somehow. Oh look, a classic dunk take right there. This guy's sitting on the bench there. Hey, what's up, buddy? There's the train. And it looks like they're, uh, I don't know what they're doing there. It looks like they're about to jump rope or something. <laughs> Murals, murals, murals. Getting a little drive-by action here for this one. Some Spanish conquistadors over there. Maybe Hernando de Soto. Maybe Ponce de Leon. And some citrus workers. There you go. This is awesome. Just kind of rolling by. We And that is the end of it. And here we are approaching the Placid Tower once again. This time the sun hitting it from this side looks better. You can see it a little bit more. Oh yeah, it definitely lights up a little more when the sun hits it. You can definitely tell. You can make out the brick more, all the brick blocks. So many of them, almost 100,000. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, give it a one of those right down there. Below the YouTube video, there's one of these and one of these. You can click either or, I don't mind. Whatever you think, well, just click one. Thank you so much. I prefer this one, though. <laughs> I always appreciate you guys giving the thumbs up, watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Florida Roadside Attractions and Abandoned Places. And I'll see you next time, ending it here in Lake Placid, Florida. Know you're awesome. Know you're loved. And know there's much ahead. See you next time, guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. Subscribe below. If it's your first time here too if you want to just saying some people click off of like facebook and instagram and all kinds of stuff and i don't think they actually realize that they can subscribe to the channel that way they don't have to use those social media platforms to find these videos my videos this channel you can subscribe to the channel and that way you know when the next episode is that way i don't have to tell you all right <laughs> some people don't know so i just wanted to Put that out there just in case that may help someone thank you so much i am tampa j there's much ahead see you next time i will not ramble anymore now i'm pretty hungry i don't i don't know if i'm feeling asian fusion sushi hibachi today i, I like that food i love it but there's a lot of great tex-mex food around this area too maybe i'll head back up to uh arcadia through arcadia about a year ago i was out here there's a nice mexican restaurant over there yeah I don't know why I'm telling you my food plans. I don't I don't plan on vlogging that, but <laughs> I'm gonna edit this video and head home. Alright guys, see you later. Bye bye.